Quinganow, Loema, Nita Shinzi, Denise Stonefish, Chief of El Nepali La Kawit. Quinganow, Loma, Nita Shinzi, Lilano, Nita Lango Mawak, the Quahan of Belwak, Makrodem Mishnabe, Nino Njai, El Napawi, La Kawit. My name is Bruce Stonefish. Uh, I'm uh, Director of Operations for Nisi. The project that uh, we were asked to uh, be a part of was uh, at the visitor center at uh, Rondo uh, Park and uh, was building a wigwam and one of the things uh, I know they wanted to have all of the different communities involved and we're the closest community so we were honored to uh, be a part of the project. And we came and uh, helped show uh, how some of the uh, traditional wigwams were built and uh, those wigwams were the same wigwams that we moved in in 1792 uh, when we moved here to Delaware Nation where we live now on the Thames River. That's the exact kind of housing that we would have lived in when we got here. So. The significance is, is that's how our ancestors used to, to live. Uh, uh, that was what uh, provided us our shelter, our homes. Uh, uh, we didn't live out in the open and, and in our side of the world, our side of Turtle Island. Uh, we didn't uh, live in teepees. So we were more, uh, more uh, semi-permanent. Uh, it doesn't say that we still didn't uh, travel to hunt and gather. Uh, but this provided us some shelter, especially in the cooler temperatures. We're just trying to get, uh, I guess, the wider community to understand uh, uh, our relationship to the land. Building those wigwams is, is uh, a prize for them. Uh, it, it's something that, that uh, is very important to us because it ties us to the land. And the land is first and foremost. Uh, it, it, it makes us who we are as a people.